Hey guys, out here a quick, uh, not even an update, just a little how-to video. Um, how to put this brake saddle on There's a couple different ways you can do it, depending on how you build your motor. Okay. Well, a lot more is technically, I can't say disc brakes. We're going to call them performance disc brakes. Sorry for the noise my heater, guys. Here's the low rider, there's the racer, there's the Murray back there, there's the big stack of tires. Here we go. Alright. So, if I can get it set up. Okay. What we have here is a disc brake system off the bicycle. Excuse the hub this is mounted to, just the disc. So, you got that which you mount to your bicycle wheel, and this is your caliper with pads. Slightly used. I used, I used a lot of bit bike one time, but they were I did buy them brand new. All right. So the first way, if you have an average lawnmower and you're just speeding it up a little bit with the transmission, and it'll have one of these little guys on it, which you can see is about the size of my hand. Um, here's a roll of uh, electric tape. There we go. That's how big it is. It's pretty small. Um, there's one thing exactly that mentions. Eh, about two and a quarter inches. It is not much. And it's a solid piece of steel with really garbage set up on the brakes. It's got like two little pins that push. Really bad system. So it's definitely better to upgrade something like this. Now you are going to do some modifications to your mower itself, like the frame might not hit, so you might hit so you have to clear. But this is just a basic how-to on making it. Um, see, I have an average drill press here. All you have to do is just drill a couple holes. You see, I had to. I tried once. I had a different cal. I did. I had a different disc on here at one time. Anyway, these three holes here are the ones that got used. Um, and just bolt it on there. Just drill some holes. Get as soon as you can. Anyway, that's one way to do it. And then you can mount this wherever you want, load it up, drill some holes, and I'll hold it there. Now, the other way, which is the way that we'll be going on here or on there, I don't know which way I want to do it, is the live axle setup. You got live axle like this on your lawnmower, or you can even take these spacers out possibly on your stock transmission. You can easily just sit that whole unit up in there. Now, the way I made this adapter is. This is the center hub out of a rim. You can see where the two pieces sandwich together right there. Right here. You can see the other pretty big piece of it. Just so cut that out. Um, just drill a couple holes there and get as tight as you can. And there you go. That weld is smaller than the hole on the disc, by the way. So it fit through there. Anyway, it has a keyway in it. Just slide that on there, put a key in it, put a couple spacers in on each side to make it fit real good, and then weld up your little mount for your uh, caliber. I will do that later on. I'm not going to do it tonight, but. Um, I know it's just one video, but I got a new clock. It's of the uh, diesel Sears. Um, anyway, it's just a quick little how to video on doing these uh, brakes. Um, you can even go as far as using it on something like an off road lawnmower. Um, to find a way to mount everything. Anyway, thought I'd show that you uh, if you watch my uh, top speed run on this mower here. I could not get a stop. I was swerving back and forth to try to get it to slow down. So I'll definitely be adding brakes to this thing. For now, guys, that's it. Um, keep an eye out on the videos on this old baby here. Um, she's doing pretty good. I got the uh, slicks mounted. I know I showed you guys this. Anyway, got the steering welded up nice and tight up there. Still gonna make a new front end, but it's okay. But I got new wheels on all the way around it. This is mounted. Holds me. About it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, see you next video.